Peace, family. It's your brother, Mark Lamont Hill. Everybody's eyes were fixed on Usher last night as he gave the halftime show at the Super Bowl. And there was a lot of pressure on Usher to perform high expectations, and Usher met them by every measure. Usher bodied the performance. But there were some surprises, too. Of course, you, you saw the Kappas out there. Gotta shout out my noobs. You also saw Jermaine Dupree pop up. Oh, my God! You saw a lot of cool stuff, but one of the big surprises was Alicia Keys. She came out playing the piano, and then that number turned into my boo, her duet with Usher. And she sang, he sang, it looked good, the chemistry was good, the energy was right, and felt just like it did 20 years ago when the video came out. Except some people the next day were feeling some type of way about how that number ended. If you see, and you can't avoid seeing it because it's become a meme, it's become a photo that's been distributed around the world, you see Usher with his arms around Alicia Keys as they ended the song. I woke up this morning thinking, you know, there'd be some jokes because the night before there were some jokes about how he was holding her, how he was hugging her. But by the morning, I saw Swizz Beats trending. As you know, of course, Swizz Beats is Alicia Keys' husband. And there were a lot of men out there, a lot of tweets, a lot of uh, 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 Instagram posts, a lot of YouTube commentaries, all about how Alicia Keys was being disrespectful to Swiss Beats or how Swiss Beats was being played because he let his wife go on stage and get touched by Usher like that. People saying Usher was out of line for disrespecting Swiss Beats, all kinds of madness that unfortunately ain't that surprising on the internet. So I'm gonna just say something real quick about this. Look, first of all, Usher wasn't out of bounds. I'm very confident that they rehearsed that number a million times. You don't just show up on a Super Bowl and do stuff you ain't done before. So they rehearsed that number. So this was consensual. They both agreed to it. Alicia Keys did not, uh, by any indication, object to what happened. That's number one. Number two, it ain't up to anybody but Alicia Keys and Usher whether or not they do the number the way they did it. It wasn't disrespectful to anybody. They're friends. They've been doing this song for decades. They had chemistry in the video because they're performers. They had chemistry on stage because they're performers. You got to understand, y'all, this is a performance. This wasn't cheating in plain sight. They weren't playing in our faces in front of millions of people. They weren't disrespecting Swizz Beats. They were simply doing a musical number. And I bet you, I would bet my last dollar, I don't know this for a fact, but I bet you Swizz Beats has seen the performance beforehand anyway. But let's take it a step further, y'all. Why are y'all calling out Swizz Beats like he did something wrong or like he is a fool or a beta male and all these other misogynistic patriarchal phrases y'all use when women have the audacity to think and act for themselves. Swiss Beats don't own Alicia Keys. Swiss Beats doesn't need to grant permission to usher for them to have that kind of performance. Now, let me be clear. If you're in a relationship, if you're married to somebody, if you're in a, a serious relationship, yeah, you might want to have conversations about your boundaries and your rules. And again, I have no reason to think that she violated those. But at the end of the day, she's not property. This isn't a conversation about whether or not he should have given her permission or whether or not he's okay with it. It's ultimately about whether Alicia Keys is okay with it. And again, by all indications, she was. So when you look on the internet and you see the memes, cool. You see the jokes, cool. You see the commentaries, I'm here for it. But then you got folks like Boosie and others weighing in who aren't being playful. They're dead ass serious that somehow somebody was disrespected. Nobody was disrespected, y'all. Performers perform, actors act, dancers dance, singers sing. And sometimes it's going to look romantic because that's part of the performance. And once again, as long as Alicia's cool with it and Usher's cool with it, nobody else should have anything to say about it. All right, y'all, that's just my opinion. Hit the like button if you're feeling me and feeling what I'm talking about. Also hit the subscribe button so you can be part of the Mark Lamont Hill uh, channel. Hit the bell so you can get updates whenever we put out new content. And of course, if you're so inclined, hit that join button and become part of the Mark Lamont Hill official YouTube family. Peace.